Does anyone have a question? They'd like to ask. Does anyone have a question? You know, I keep saying it. You know, all this is about this whole meditation practice. All it's about is the development of a heart chakra that truly enables us to love ourselves, to love other people. You know, to find a way to be kind in the world, to be compassionate in the world, and to do all these things unconditionally, where it's not, you know, I'll do this for you if you do that for me, but it's truly using an open heart to find in another, another human, another human being, the depth of one's own humanity. And I think this is really an extraordinary way to live. It requires, you know, very deep inner strength. It requires everything that I talk about in terms of the development of a chakra system. But I think it's the goal of humanity. I mean, ultimately, when people don't find this in their lifetime, they got to come back again and again and again until something bell goes off inside them and say, hey, you know, what is this all about? Why am I here? What am I here to learn? How can I grow? How can I get free of suffering, pain, difficulty? You know, the first way you get free of it is you stop projecting it out onto the world. You stop knowing better than everybody else. And you listen and let life be the teacher. So, you know, they say God is love and, you know, it's written everywhere all over the world in every synagogue, church, or mosque. And it's true. It's so funny, uh, somebody got a, told me yesterday that somebody was listening to my talks and got all upset that I talked a lot about God. <laughs> You know, I, I thought that was very funny. But I said to him, look, I uh, the one of the most wonderful things about this meditation practice is that it's non-denominational. You know, you can be Christian, you can be Muslim, you can be Jewish, you could be Jain, you, you can be an a, a, a agnostic, you can be an atheist, it doesn't matter. Because Everyone on this planet wants to be happy. Everyone wants to learn how to build a system inside that enables them to live here like a happy human being. But people twist it around. You understand? It becomes all kinds of righteousness. My way is better than your way. I don't like or but prejudice, racial stuff. You know, it becomes insanity because people haven't developed a system inside themselves to keep their heart open. And when I talk about God, that's what I'm talking about. Highest levels of human evolution, you know, the soul's evolution on the earth. And freedom. 
You don't get free by hating other people. All you do is get hatred thrown back into your face. That's all that happens. But, so it was really funny to hear that, you know. So I said to me, you know, the Buddhists believe God is energy. The Hindus believe God is energy. Other religions, God is a father in the sky. You know, doesn't matter. These are just projections of human beings, you know, who have created the dogma in religion. The reality is God is love. And I think there is no human being on the planet that doesn't want that. I had a friend of mine, he was an artist, and I once said, you know, he said, why do you do meditation? I said, you know, look, I want to be a happy person. He said, impossible. So I said, do you want to be happy? He said, yes, but it's impossible to attain. Now, I don't believe that, but many people do believe that. I mean, they're so trapped in the unhappiness of their life and the difficulties of what goes on in the world that they truly, it becomes like habit to believe that happiness is an impossibility. It's not. One has to work at it. Develop a system inside that's strong enough to keep their heart open no matter what the hell is going on in the world. And I find that to be an extraordinary way of living because it's so non-denominational. It so transcends all religious thoughts and belief systems. And, and probably, you know, I, I, I was kidding around the other day. I said, righteousness paves the road to hell. You know, <laughs> I mean, maybe make a t-shirt out of that one. I and mean, it's very true. People's rightness is what destroys more people on earth than anything else. They're being right, and their way is the only way. And it destroys life. I don't want to be right. Like Rudy always said, he preferred to be wrong. And I love that. I mean, I never heard anyone say that. I, if I'm wrong, at least I can learn something can make up the difference. I can listen to other people and find out what they have to teach me because I'm wrong. And I want to get to learn. I mean, I was so blown away by that when he said it. I never heard that before. And this goes on with people's diets, with their religious beliefs, with racial stuff. It goes on in so many areas of life that are so unnecessary. If somebody just learns to open their heart and learns profoundly as a living expression of their life, God is love. Does anyone have a question we would like to ask? And one of the great things about these classes is that in order for them to work, I have to take every single person here in my heart. And it doesn't matter if I like you, I don't like you, if I hang out with you, None of that's important. What's important is love, because that will nurture people that attend these classes. And your know, other people's belief systems are completely irrelevant to me. I absolutely don't care what people believe in. What's relevant is they're working on themselves to open their hearts. They get strong enough inside to live that.
Does anyone have a question they would like to ask? I hope it's clear, you know. I mean, I, it's so simple and it's relevant to every human being just having a successful life. Does anyone have a question they would like to? Okay. All right. There'll be meditation on Tuesday. Thank you. Bless you all. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for dragging out of me what you drag out of me. Because I learned from it also. And I'm just, you know, deeply grateful. So God bless you all. And there'll be meditation on Tuesday. And I'm looking forward to seeing you. Everybody. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.